Welcome back to another video. Today we are unboxing some new fish that I just picked up from my fish room. In our recent video, I just added new tanks, some new quarantine tanks to my fish room, and things are really coming together there. So let's dive right in. Before we unbox the new fish, I did want to unbox a few new pieces of equipment that I have as I'm preparing for my new big custom aquarium. I'm also doing a water change on the 180 right now, so hopefully you don't hear that too bad. But the first box here is just a pretty simple surge protector that has a 10 foot extension cord. After the last video where I added two new quarantine tanks to my fish room, I realized that all the different cords for the different equipment, lights, filters, and everything was all tangled up and too far away from the quarantine tanks. So this will really tidy up the area around the fish room. Next up, we have, so this is a new heater and this is from Hyger. I have not used this actual heater before, but it had good reviews, and I really just wanted one big heater, which will go in the sump of my new tank, but this will keep the temperatures warm enough for the cichlids that I'm gonna have in there, so excited to have that one checked off the list. And then one of the more exciting pieces of equipment here, you could probably guess based on the box, is my new light. Here we go. So here we have a Hyger LED light, and I'm really excited to test one of the things that I talked about with this new custom aquarium build is just using new equipment, doing product reviews on some new things that I test out on this tank. So likely going to have an aquarium light review on this and maybe even some other equipment that I use on the tank. So really excited to have this. It looks pretty sleek. Let's go ahead and get it out of the box real quick. All right, here we go. Got some bubble wrap over it. Okay, so pretty straightforward. It has two prongs that go in the ends to make it prop up on the lid. And here's the light itself, which is really thin, and I like that about a light when you don't really have to see it on top of the tank. It's a little bit wider in width than a lot of the other aquarium lights that I've used in the past, but again, since it'll be up on the tank and looking directly at it, I don't think you'll notice that too much. But I'm really excited to get this on the tank and see what it looks like. The next day. Okay hey guys, so I got a very exciting fish shipment in today and I can't wait to unbox this and check out what I got. So let's get right to it. Here we go. So I have ordered fish online a lot. I did a full video on the pros and cons of ordering fish online, which you can find in the upper right hand corner. But there are a lot of benefits to ordering online. One of them is to be able to choose the specific species and size of the fish that you need. And that's really gonna come into play with this shipment. So we got the styrofoam lid and then a couple of heat packs. You may have seen that it was snowing outside, so it was pretty cold, but the overnight delivery and the heat packs usually keep these guys safe and warm throughout the delivery. But all right, here we go. Everyone seems to be doing really well. I see slight movement in each of the bags. So we'll get a closer look at each of the fish, starting with this guy here. The first fish we have here is a small two to three inch rostratum, which is a peacock cichlid. I got two of these and I'm hoping that one of them will be a male, which will grow out for a little bit and eventually go into the peacock display tank. So the next fish is another two to three inch rostratum. Like I said, I'm hoping to get a male out of this pair. Next up, we have a blue dolphin, which actually gets a little bit larger than some of the other peacocks, but the peacock cichlid tank is gonna grow into a peacock and hat mix tank down the line. So you're gonna start seeing some of that come through with this package, and then also in another package that's gonna be coming here soon. Uh, there's a hint of blue on this guy already. This is a one to two inch unsexed blue dolphin. So I believe I have two others that are slightly bigger in this package. Again, I'm hoping to get at least one male out of these three blue dolphins. Okay, and here is the second blue dolphin. This one is actually a little bit bigger at two to three inches. Again, this is unsexed, and there are two two to three inch blue dolphins in here, so three total, and I'm hoping at least one of them will be a male. Here is the other blue dolphin two to three inch guy here swimming around doing great. And again, we'll get a really good look at these guys once they're floated and put into the tank. But on a similar note, I got two sulfur head peacocks that are two to three inches, looking again for one to at least be a male. We will hopefully find that out in the next couple months. If any of them start to get some color um, and show some dominance, we'll be able to see if they're males. And then here is the other sulfur head, again, two to three inches. 
This guy looks good. I feel like he already has some color and it might be a male, so I'm pretty excited about that. I saved this one for last because it's already colored up and a bigger male. This is a Madoka White Lips and he is a beast. It looks incredible with some blue and the white lips coming in already. This guy is big enough and ready to go into my Peacock Cichlid tank immediately. Like I said, it's gonna start becoming a Peacock slash Common Hat tank and this guy is the start of that. All the fish seem like they're doing really well, so I'm just gonna do my standard process of floating them for about a half hour to an hour, and then do a plop and drop into my tank. So let's get them in there now. So a few days after the unboxing, everyone is doing great. Here's the 75 gallon tank, all the male peacocks, along with the newcomer, the Madoka White Lips. So you may be asking why I didn't quarantine that fish, and ideally I would quarantine it, but because it's a little bit bigger at about four and a half inches, I didn't think the 20 gallon quarantine tank was large enough, it would probably stress him out just to be in there. So I went ahead and put him straight into the tank. It wasn't an ideal situation adding one fish to an established peacock tank but he held his own and he's doing great he's one of the group now the other part to it is i do really trust the source imperial tropicals was the company that i ordered these fish from and i've never had issues i've had probably 15 different orders from them and they always go smoothly so things worked out and he is looking great in here with the peacocks and then moving over to the other tank which is the quarantine grow out tank for seven different peacocks and haps so I have my three blue dolphin cichlids, my two sulfur heads, and my two rust stratums. So a mix of haps and peacocks in this group. I ordered them at this size because it's just really hard to find specific species at the right size within the same shipment. And I really do like seeing these smaller fish grow into their full maturity over time. But the plan is to hopefully get a male out of each of these different species. So three total males that will join the peacocks and hap tank. And I'm kind of giving away what that big new tank will be like. It's going to likely be the peacocks from the 75 gallon tank, along with a few select haps that I really like. The haps that I really loved were the Madoka White Lips, which is now in the tank, along with the Blue Dolphin, which is in the quarantine tank. And I have one more that I'm likely going to get. I love the Star Sapphire. So look out for that coming very soon. So one thing to mention with the new quarantine tank is I cycled it immediately by adding in the filters from my previous tank. So the hang on the back and the sponge filter were previously running on the electric blue Cara tank, so it's immediately able to add fish. But the peacocks and the new fish are doing great. I think everything is starting to come along nicely. I'm gonna have a great group of peacocks and haps ready for the new tank. I cannot wait for that, so make sure you stick around. Hopefully that will come very soon. Okay guys, that does it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed seeing the new fish we picked up and all the equipment that I'm starting to get and starting to unbox. Make sure to hit that subscribe button down below so you can follow along with the new setup and build of this big aquarium. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time.